Today I'm gonna to discuss why I chose the PGY Tech Mantis Pod 2.0 for my vlogging setup in 2023. Now, more recently I've been vlogging with the Hero 7 and the Hero 10 by GoPro, and that was working out pretty well, but I decided to upgrade to the Sony FX30. And with that came rebuilding my whole vlogging setup. Now, after doing research and just from experience myself, working with things of these natures, uh, it's just like a, a gorilla pod. Now, if you're into YouTube, you see that a lot of YouTubers mainly use something like this. Depending on the size of the camera, they got the bigger ones that can handle a certain capacity of weight uh, by the cameras. Now, unfortunately, like after a while, Things like this become a little bit of a pain to get it right when you want to stand up your camera. And like I said, I'm, I'm making decisions from my experience and also some research with other people that, um, that are vlogging at this point. Now, I'll tell you the main reason why I ended up not buying a, just a bigger Gorilla Pod for my Sony FX30. And the main reason is, as you can see, this is in tripod mode. I swivel these legs and boom, I'm ready to vlog. And basically, it's simplicity. I decided to make things simple, make my life more simple by just purchasing a tripod of this fashion instead of those Gorilla Pods. Now, there is other little cool features about this tripod, but I'll say it again, that is my main reason. Um, when you're out there filming, you don't wanna be fiddling with stuff, you just wanna, get the shot and get as quick as possible and just enjoy what you're doing and not be messing with the gear. Now, there's other cool features because if you're out there filming, you should know this. You wanna get as many angles as possible and that makes your videos more interesting. With this tripod, as you can see, you can simply get yourself into this low profile mode and that's it. That's it, you just press that button, which is right here, and you get your camera into this low profile mode. You're pretty much on the floor. There's really very little space between there. And once again, it's just simple. Now, if I take this, um, if I take this microphone and I place it here, it's that same simplicity, like I told you. I could always swivel it. So if I'm talking, while I'm filming some, some area or something, I'm showing you guys some scenery or something, a nice landscape, I could talk into the mic. Now when I put it into vlogging mode, I could just simply turn this whole thing. Turn it. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're out there in the field and you're filming and you, you're catching the vibe, you don't want to be fiddling with stuff and get frustrated with the, with the equipment you're working with, with your gear. So basically the main reason was how easy it is to function with everything. And uh, besides that, it's a strong tripod. I actually seen a video of the guys were standing on the damn tripod, which was insane. So it's, it's very strong. You wouldn't think so because it's light. And you know, the plastic doesn't seem cheapy, but it doesn't feel like the greatest plastic, you know? But like I said, People were standing on this tripod and it didn't break. Now, just real quick, this button here will get you into different levels so you can adjust. And I counted about 11 stops, which it's more than enough. I, I never got into a point that I couldn't get the camera in the right spot. You know, it locks in in these 11 options. I think there's 11, if you, you found more, you know, put it in the comments. So you could just press that button and voila, you're in a perfect position and you can just press the button if you wanna film something lower. Um, you can also put it in portrait mode if you drop down into this little catch here. It's not for every camera, like if you top heavy, like with this, you know, you might wanna line up with one of the legs so it kinda catches the weight, you know, but, um, I wouldn't do it, it's fine. You know, you get the portrait mode, everybody loves pet, uh, portrait mode, Instagram and TikToks and such. Now, before I go, 
I want to let you guys know there's like three options of this uh, tripod right now. It's the tripod itself, so if you have some cool uh, tripod head, um, you could put your own on there. They got the one with the ball head, which is the one I purchased. And they have actually one that has a built-in remote. If you can see, there's like a little bit of a cutout here. And the other option comes with the actual remote in this little indentation here. Um, and you could control alpha cameras from what I saw. All right, so another cool thing is this Mantis leg that drops out. You could basically hook this onto pretty much anything, a bench, a car door, a branch, and you could get those angles. And this definitely will come in very handy, like on those days that you don't have somebody to help you film or you're trying to capture yourself. Um, you pull out that little hook there, find something, a cool place that's secure, and film away. Oh, the ball head. How could I miss the ball head? As you can see here, this all locks in. It has a little pin here, so if you don't lock it for some reason, it will not slide out and whatever, and you lose your camera out there. It has like a little pin that catches it there. But also, it has this little lever here that locks your camera in and you just feel so secure. You know it's not going anywhere, which is super great. And now I think we can end the video. Like I said, I didn't want to drag this out. Um, I hope this is helpful for you guys out there that are in the market for a new vlogging tripod. I will be discussing more about my journey with the Sony FX30 and how I'm kind of building up my vlogging. Also, I'm gonna to touch on matters about settings and dealing with bigger files on my computer. So stay tuned. I catch you guys in the next one. Peace.